This piece of Mysterio's helmet gave me ideas for my eye lenses. Go ahead, sue me, fishbowl head. Why don't you shut the hell up? What is up, guys? Welcome back to another action figure review. Today, this finally came in. This guy was a hundred bucks, but I'm still gonna open him. I'm gonna keep the packaging, though. We have Marvel Legends Retro Series, Marvel's Mysterio. This thing is awesome. I love this thing. Let's take a look at the packaging. We got Marvel's Mysterio, we got some promotional art. We got the window glass figure, of course, the window. Uh, yeah. Spider-Man logo up there. We got all the characters. We got Spider-Man, Peter Parker, Green Goblin, Gwen Stacy, Daredevil, and Electro. Yeah, and he can... I don't know how I feel about him being able to remove his head, but yeah. A cloud of smoke heralds the arrival of the villainous mastermind who uses an art of illusion against Spider-Man, Mysterio. This is awesome. We got Lego Mumble Jumbo, your winning lottery numbers. Nothing on the back, nothing on the top. Let's get this figure open. Alrighty, let's see here. Alrighty, come on. Come to daddy. That sounds weird out loud, but we're just gonna go with it. Because why the heck not? Alrighty, hey, the box is in pretty, still pretty good condition. Got some papers, no one needs that. And we're just gonna... Alrighty, here we have Mysterio out of his packaging with his hypnotic mist effects. Uh, those, uh, things around his hands, oops. Those things around his hands are from Chasm, so shout out Chasm. So, yeah, let's take a look at the sculpt. His sculpt is amazing. Like, these hands, these one gripping hand, one, like, kind of ooh hand. He kind of has the same hand thing as Spot. Where, like, Spot has, like, one relaxer hand like this, and, like, one out hand like that. Okay, get out of here, Spot. Uh, yeah, hypnotic, mix, hypnotic mist effects are really cool. I like the, like, the tentacle aesthetic. You can remove his fishbowl, and it pops off pretty easily. In fact, it actually is a little hard to, like, keep on. Under there, we got a Quentin Beck head. Right there. And, yeah. It's just a Quentin Beck head. To be honest, I'm not a big fan of the fact that you can remove the fishbowl head. If I'm being completely honest with you guys. I'm... I don't care what you say, it's my figure, so I'm most likely gonna, like, put super glue or crazy glue around this nozzle so it, like, actually stays inside of, like, stay, stays on him, you know? Because I think I'll only, like, remove it. Like, I don't think I'll ever find myself removing it because the fishbowl just makes it look way cooler. Yeah, we got, like, the gold, the gold on green on maroon effect with, like, the fishbowl. Fishbowl, I like how this time it's not see-through. I loved, like, I thought it was really cool how it was see-through last time, but I just like how it's really opaque now. Hypnotic Mist Effects, really cool. I don't have any other Mysterios to compare this to, if I'm being, all I have is a Lego Mysterio, and I can't even find that. Cape, uh, we got some paint missing right here and here. Yeah, it's not the best, but yeah. Uh, yeah, let's take a look at his articulation. Oops. Alrighty, let's get a look at the articulation. Pretty standard Marvel Legends articulation. You can go up that much. Uh, bend, bicep swivel. Like a double jointed elbow. Can't go that much because of like the boxed wrist kind of. Standard wrist movements. Where it's kind of just like there's a hinge and you can move it to your heart's desire. Ball head. Ball head. Ball joint on the head. Disc joint. Uh, it's pretty pretty floppy actually. We got ab crunch goes that much, arch back goes that much, hip swivel, we got, again, same articulation on the arm, on the other arm, we got thigh pivot, I think it's called, we can go up, you can split that much, his knees, double jointed knees, he can kick his own butt, there, there we go, uh, gold effect, we got hip, like a bunch of really good ankle swivel. It can go that much, that much. Actually leaves you with a gap, which is kind of awkward. And yeah, he has really good head swivel. Yeah, that's his uh, articulation. Uh, yeah, let's move on to the just the figure itself. Or I guess I already talked about that, so let's do comparisons. 
Here he is compared to my Marvel Legends Retro Series Walmart exclusive, Craven the Hunter. That was a mouthful. Here is him compared to my Marvel Legends Across the Spider-Verse Part 1 spot. And last but not least, here is him compared to my Marvel Legends Retro Series Custom Spider-Man. <gasps> Hi, Bees. How's it going? Alrighty, guys. Thank you for tuning in to today's video. Really hope you enjoyed. This Mysterio figure is probably the best, like, retro series figure I've had in a long time. Mysterio is my favorite Spider-Man villain and probably will always be my favorite. I love how this action figure, they do him justice. My only complaint is the cape and how wiggly it is. Again, probably going to super glue it to him, but who knows? Maybe I won't. Thank you for tuning in to today's video. Love you guys. Bye.